let's talk about Cher's iconic yellow plaid outfit. In the early 90s, fashion was heavily influenced by Nirvana and Kurt Cobain. Everybody was wearing really baggy clothes, boots, jeans, big checkered shirts. That was what was happening. The Crush was my first film, and when that came out for the first time, people were saying to me, that's the girl from The Crush. And then the Aerosmith video happened, and then I did three of them, and it was, that's the Aerosmith chick. <laughs> my boyfriend at the time had a flannel shirt, and that's the shirt I ended up wearing in the Aerosmith videos. That was sort of the fashion at that moment. Before Clueless, I really didn't have any interest or understanding about fashion. The Clueless almost didn't happen. It's because the studio thought no one was gonna see it because it was about a young girl. And then I was in Paris making a film and I got this really long fax from Amy Heckerling saying we've taken the project to Scott Rudin. And then we were, I was somehow, all of a sudden I was in rehearsals. All the costumes were designed by Mona May and at first you see Cher is wearing a plaid Dolce & Gabbana yellow and black checkered skirt, white Mary Jane shoes, white knee-high socks, and then there's a white t-shirt and a yellow cardigan. And then on top of it, of course, the suit jacket. There were three options for this opening scene. A blue version, a red version, and the yellow version. And Amy and Mona together chose the yellow one because they felt that it was most appropriate for the scene. It's a nod to a schoolgirl uniform, but in an elevated, chic, very high fashion way. And it's so absurd. Immediately you're transformed, you know the world you're in because that's not how kids dress to go to school. It's just not. But somehow it just feels right and it works. You're seeing these boys dressed in grunge and such. There's such a contrast. She's just like bright yellow sunshine walking through. And it sort of had a grunge edge to it because it still was like yellow and black plaid. But putting it on a little girl made it so different. I think I had 64 costumes in the movie. I would be standing in these fittings, just like, ah. And I remember when I was shooting with Mona, I just, she was like a, she was annoying to me, you know, because I just was trying to do this job and I would just think, why are the clothes so important? But of course I knew the clothes were so important. I mean, the clothes are everything. The clothes are the star of the film, or at least the co-star. <laughs> this is an Aliyah. Well, I had no expectations for the film. I was just doing another movie. So when it came out, I remember having to do a press tour, and I don't think I'd ever done anything like that on that level before. I was in New York. I'm very excited. I remember getting a phone call from Scott Rudin. He had never called me before, and he called because the movie had opened and he called me to tell me that it was a huge success and congratulations. I do remember that people immediately responded to the clothes, for sure. Clueless bridged a gap between this grunge period and then now fashion was fun and girly. You went from a period of time where it was just cool to just not care and jeans and your flannel and whatever and now to like I care and I'm gonna make really cute outfits all the time. And you're welcome and I'm sorry at the same time. <laughs> no one knows where that yellow plaid outfit is. It has a life of its own. You see it every year on the runway and I think it's so interesting that people are so interested in it and it continues to live. You've seen it with Iggy Azalea's video. She did an entire homage to Clueless. Ariana Grande had a outfit for her tour that was very much inspired by Clueless. I recently did Lip Sync Battle and I got to put a recreation of the outfit back on. It was so fun and just felt great. And it looks so good. This outfit has been a part of my life for 25 years because every single Halloween I get pictures sent to me. They're always in the yellow plaid outfit. They don't wear any other outfit, which I never thought about until now. But they're always in the yellow plaid outfit. <laughs>